Hello everybody. Welcome to my page. Today we're going to be painting a strawberry door hanger. Hello, hello. Please say hi when you come in. How's everybody today? Hey, Tammy. How's spring break going? Hello, hello. Need a nap. Hello, Marie. Good, good afternoon. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Kim. Hello. Hopefully, I can keep up with everybody. <laughs> Are y'all ready for summer? I think I am. With all these um strawberries and carrots and all that stuff that I've been painting it's like giving me like spring and summer vibes for sure I'm ready had a busy busy day today so I'm a little late coming on I was trying to come on at three but I couldn't make it so here I am hopefully it's not too late So the color I'm using today is um, called Watermelon from Ceramco. I am going to be mixing in a little bit of a darker red to make my strawberry a little bit brighter. But I, I usually like to go with these lighter colors first because I feel like the red is kind of see-through and it doesn't, uh, doesn't look as vibrant. Nancy for your door. Oh, yeah. I know there's a lot of people that love strawberries, so good season for strawberries right now. She loves her strawberry decor. Aww. I like it too. I think it's cute. Thank you. 
I'm not going to wash out my paintbrush or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and mix in this red. It's um, called True Red from Anita's Acrylic, All-Purpose Acrylic. I think you can buy that at Hobby Lobby or somewhere. But that's just going to pop against that corally red that I added. And it's also going to give me a little bit of dimension, so it's going to kind of shade in with it. And that's kind of what I want. I don't want it to be all one solid red color. I want it to look like it's got uh, a little bit of dimension just because, you know, strawberries are round, so you're going to, you know, see the light in different ways. So my paint, my bottom paint is still wet. So is everyone on spring break right now or not? Not everyone. I know the people that work all the time, you know, that don't have kids, they don't get a spring break. It was starting to look a little bit streaky, so I'm adding a little bit more of the red. And if I need to, I'll add a little bit more of that watermelon color on there. But Like I said, red is very see-through, so it, um, it probably needs a few coats.
with homeschool, we take spring break whenever we want to. We take it the week of my son's birthday. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. When is that, Marie? Coming up? Are y'all going to do anything fun? It still looks a little bit streaky, but it's okay. Because we're still going to add some details to it, so it's not going to really matter at the end. April 22nd. Oh, wow, he's going to be 13. Big boy. You ready to have a teenager? Oh, that would be fun. A week in Gatlinburg and hit Dollywood. Cool. I've never been there, but I have seen the, the pictures. When Tamara went a couple uh, months ago, or maybe it's been a couple of months, I was like, wow. Sorry, I needed a drink. My throat's been a little bit, um, not scratchy, but just very dry. These seasonal allergies are no good. You're not ready? I don't think any mom is ready for their kid to be 13. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Probably should have started with the green. It's okay. How are you feeling already, Megan? Are you much better? 100% or not quite? Okay, so should I add a color to my flower? I was thinking of adding a little bit of pink. Just a little bit. Not too much. But I don't have to. I can just leave it off. I also like the idea of just white flowers with the strawberry. Hey, Erica. <laughs> oh, yeah, please don't chat. Baby pink. Okay. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was going to do, but I just wanted a little bit of it maybe in the in the centers. Mm. 
A hint of pink, yep. That sounds good. My hands are pretty shaky today. I've been busy this morning, so I've been working with my hands a lot, and they're a little bit shaky right now, but it's okay. We'll get it done. I just wanted to get a quick white coat first, and then I'll blend that in. Erica, is your son on spring break as well? I think most people are in the same schedule, right? Pretty much. Not until next week. Oh, okay. Well, here, um, the schools are already on, on spring break. Most of the area, I think. But I do have clients that have told me that they're on spring break next week. So, um, but... Their, their kids are more college kids, so college age kids, so I don't know if that makes a difference. Hey, Kendria, I'm glad you could join me. So, am I the only weirdo that doesn't like strawberries? Don't. I love, I love the look of strawberries. I think they're so pretty and so beautiful, but I cannot get past the seeds on them. I cannot. So, I know a lot of you love strawberries, but I don't know what it is. I love strawberry scent, strawberry flavor. But I cannot do the actual strawberry. <laughs> what? I love strawberries. I know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's just the seeds, like the texture. I'm a, I'm, if something has a weird texture, I probably won't like it. I'm like that with a whole lot of things. And um, if my fruits are like cooked into something, like in a cake or something, I won't like that either. I don't know what that is, why, but I just don't like it.
most people love strawberries. I just can't do it. Can't do it. You eat strawberries and blueberries every day on your yogurt. I see that. I just can't do it though. Wait, I don't know. Hi, Rosie. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's just the seeds because I love the flavor, like the strawberry flavor and um, like on everything. It's just I don't like the actual strawberries. I don't know. Weird. By the way, you guys, this is a Wallace House Designs template. If you want to order you one. Actually, I might have just given it away too soon, right? Erica, I don't think it's been released yet. <laughs> so, coming up at Wallace House Designs. This is one of the templates. I'm, on, I'm in the template club, so I get templates templates at the beginning of the month so I'm a little bit ahead of the game so if you guys are interested in that get with Miss Erica what's my favorite yeah Erica's template tribe oh my goodness guys I love everything she makes so it's like way well worth the price like I mean I don't know I can I can go on and on. Yes, exactly. They need to be part of the tribe because uh, it's like, I don't know, like you get like all this goodness at the beginning of the month and you're ahead of the game because now I'm painting this and it's not even released yet. So it will be coming up this month, you know, but yeah, 
Y'all need to be in the tribe. That's all I can say. Marie, you do need to join Erica's template tribe for sure. So since strawberry is not my favorite, I think my favorite fruit is pro would probably be like grapes or um, pineapple. I love pineapple. Um, favorite, favorite, favorite. If I was to go and grab a snack, like if I needed to go and grab a snack, it would probably have to be pineapple. Um, I love oranges too. You buy all the ones from Southern Adornments? <laughs> yeah. You can tell which ones are made by Erica, right? I love the Southern Adornments ones too, but um, it's just, there's something about Erica. I don't know. I don't know. Can't say that enough, I guess. This is not sponsored, by the way, Erica. <laughs> Yeah, you love pineapple. Uh, I don't know why. I just, I, uh, pi like, citrus fruit is my favorite. So pineapple, um, uh, you know, orange, stuff like that. Lemons. I can eat lemons. I don't know if those are considered a fruit, which I think they are. I can eat those. I'm a Sour Patch Kid, for sure. What, Erica? We're too much. I have been in other template clubs before, and... I have gotten out just because, you know, um, you don't know what you're getting every month, right? So it has to be worth it for me to stay. You know what I mean? Like it, if it's going to be, if I'm just going to be getting all these templates for a month and it's not going to be anything that I love, like it's just kind of be kind of wasted money. Erica, you need to get on that because uh, all this free advertisement, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to continue to do that. I'm a starving artist over here, so I, I, need, I need to get paid somewhere. <laughs> yep, we sure will. Because we are your greatest fans, right, Marie? much pink on there you guys can't even see what I'm doing right the lighting's like off but it's okay I'll show you all up close in a little bit So I've been painting a lot of these little uh, fruits and things lately just because I'm in the spring mood. Are we planning to make 
kids Easter egg yard kit for Easter. Mm, no. I'm not. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind right now. Just mentally, I think. So I don't know if I need to add one more thing to my plate. I need to sit down and just focus and, um, what was that? What was that term? So I don't know if you guys have, uh, watched, you know, um, I don't know. I was watching something yesterday and it was like, uh, it was saying something about we need to download our brain or whatever. It was from the, uh, creative club or what is what is it called that we are in so one of the ladies was talking about about you know when you feel overwhelmed and you need to just download everything and just like write everything down and it made so much sense because I need to do that. I need to just sit down and just write everything down and just focus on one thing at a time. Because I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a brain overload right now. Not good. But I have a lot going on right now, so. I mean... Um, I'm not going to do Easter kits, but I am going to do, um, uh, of course, the door hanger of the month. So, that's going to be for April, and, um, people are already buying that, so. Uh, I just don't know if I can add one more thing to my plate. I need to catch up a little bit. A little bit on my brain. Are you doing anything for um, Easter, Erica? On your page? Twelve, you plan to do twelve in egg blanks for my locals. Oh, cool! So they're gonna be like kits, or uh, not kits, but like um, like uh, already painted little door, um, not door hangers, but like yard signs or something. Or is it going to be like kids where they, uh, they have to paint them? Okay, on yard stakes. So they are painted then. That sounds like a good idea. I think I need a brainstorm session with you, Miss Erica.
Last year they were a hit since all the hunts were canceled. Oh yeah. So you you do you've done it more than once, more than one year. I know some people sell the um, little buckets, like the painted buckets and stuff. I haven't gotten into that either. I just don't want to get into too much, you know. Uh, Um, can you buy MDO? Like, I thought you had to buy, like, you had to be, like, a contractor or something. I don't know, actually. <clears throat> you did it the year before, and they sold pretty well, but last year they were really popular. Yeah. I can see why. I don't know if you can get MDO <clears throat> um, unless you're a wholesaler. Well, uh, not a wholesaler, but like, I don't know. Like you buy like in bulk, I think. Not sure. Because I know the MDF, they only sell it in the quarter sheets. They don't sell it in the in the big sheets for us, the public. And it's been really hard to find for me in my area anyway, so. So I really like using MDF for my door hangers, but it hasn't been very available lately, so I had to switch over. Yeah, I don't know. She, she, We might want to ask. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, I've heard that MDO is real good for the outside stuff, but not sure. Home Depot has it in 2x4 sheets, both in mod and MDF. Okay. How do you know what the difference is on that MDO? 
like and the MDF. I've never I don't think I've ever seen MDO. Christy, are you asking Erica? So do your customers paint the eggs or do you offer designs and paint them? To me, just the label. I've seen it at Home Depot, but I've never cut it. Hmm. Maybe I have used it and I didn't even know if it looks the same. And I just never even realized what I was cutting. There's no telling. They let their kids paint them. Oh, okay. So they're blanks, like they're kind of like my door hanger of the month. Cute. That's a good activity. Here the neighborhoods did the neighborhood white Easter egg hunts and had yard stakes for the eggs so they were big enough to see them from the curb. Okay, cool. That's awesome and that's that's kind of advertising for you too at the same time. That seems cool. I don't know about shipping a whole bunch of eggs though. So do you wait until they order to cut Erica or do you cut, um, do you go ahead and cut them, cut a bunch and then just have them? I would be scared to cut a whole bunch and then have a bunch of eggs left over. I mean, I, you could always use them next year, but I don't know. Oh, I just got to bring them with me. You cut when they order? Yeah. That seems like the right thing to do because I don't know about having a whole bunch of eggs left over in case you don't sell them all. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to have a lot of clutter. You know, not clutter, but you know, blank door hangers and things like that. I I just, it drives me crazy. So, I've, I've been trying to get a little bit better and kind of keep a little bit of stock of like door hangers and stuff because before I didn't used to keep any of them. I would either just get rid, like give them away if, you know, to friends or whatever, if I had them, or sell them or um you know do a raffle or something and just get rid of them that way but um lately i've been doing a little bit better of keeping a few of the door hangers that i sell kind of here at home keeping a little bit of inventory No, 
Erica does have a laser cutter. I don't. I cut all of my door hangers by myself in my little um, scroll saw. I wish I did. I want one so bad. But that's for the future. You guys can't really see my my flower, right? Okay, now you can see it a little bit. I know the, the light was shining too brightly on that white. So I added pink to the middle. There we go. It looks like it's all one color, but it's not. I need a smaller paintbrush. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of dots for these seeds that I can't stand. <laughs> And I'm just going through and adding a few of these little dots to this. I started using 12 inch blanks as samples for folks to see and for displaying because I don't have space to keep a lot in stock. Yeah, that's kind of how I am. I don't have a lot of space. So I do have a closet um, where I store all of my door hangers that I've painted, you know, live and stuff like that like now that i've been doing lives pretty regularly i've been you know keeping a whole bunch of other you know more door hangers before i would just do um you know as people were ordering so i never had any like stock like unless you know i kind of thought of something and i was like okay well i'm gonna make that or whatever so um but i wasn't having really a lot of a lot of extra stuff but now um, I've been keeping a, li a few of them. But today a lady came over and just took five of my door hangers. Just like that. So now I feel like I'm, I need to replace all those. She even took some of the ones that I had on the wall. She wanted these um, butterflies, but I told her I could make her some. I was like, no, those are mine. Those are not for sale.
the thing is that with, with my lives, when I do my lives, I always cut them at 15 inches because um, so that they can fit better on the screen. So that's what I have a lot of, like the smaller ones, not the bigger 20 inch ones. But they sell the same. They're still a good size. Yes, Erica. Isn't that awesome? I am so, 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 so excited. I do a lot 18 inch don't even know why I got started on that size but 18 I mean but 20 seems a little too big well you know I don't know where you're from Kathy but I'm from Texas and everything's bigger in Texas and honestly my 20 inches my 20 inch door hangers look very small compared to some of the others that I have seen people are I mean they they go big they go big I personally love the 15 inch door hangers. Like they, those, those are my favorite. Like they fit perfect. You can see everything on them and they're not too big. Like, I don't know what it is about the big ones that I don't, I don't love them. But most people want big ones. <laughs> I'm hit or miss with comments. I'm walking around Staples looking at stuff for my other business with my mom. Oh my gosh. That's funny. I was walking around about a month ago uh, watching Erica Wallace live one day. Walking around Target. And I mean, I'm fine watching it, but I guess other people really don't care to see me watching something but you know i would get strange looks and finally my husband was like why don't you watch that um a little bit why don't you turn that down a little bit and i'm like no they can come and watch with me too if they want to it's so funny i don't even remember what yeah I don't even remember what you were painting, Erica, but it was funny because, you know, everybody was just turning around, you know, because like, you know, usually when somebody has a phone on or something, it's a little kid watching something, right? You don't see the adults. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to, I was trying to make other people come watch with me and see, see us create. Come paint. But he was like, why don't you turn that down a little bit? I was like, no. I'm okay. They can come watch with me if they want.
I love these little chunky flowers. What kind of flowers would y'all say these are? Not daisies. Do they have a name? I try to convert everyone to, to the crafty side. I love crafts. Even on my free time, I craft. I craft to unwind. It's a, a strawberry flower. Well, makes sense. Do strawberry plants have flowers? I don't know. I guess they do, huh? You're going to see me Googling strawberry plants later and trying to find out all the stuff about strawberries. Strawberry plants have small, cute white flowers on them. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I learned something new. Thank you, Kathy. The flower turns eye to the strawberry. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that made no sense. The flower turns into the strawberry? Is that what you're trying to say? So this little strawberry right here is going to have a sister. This flower right here is going to be the sister strawberry, right? Cute strawberry. Thank you. If I remember correctly, the flower turns into the strawberry. Okay, cool. Well, I learned something new. Okay. So did I do, do did I do the flower justice? Is it white? What color is it normally? White? Do y'all know? What color are the centers usually? Because maybe we need to change this yellow part to something else. I did it justice. Oh. Yellow is right. Okay, so I'm on the right track without even knowing. Maybe I should have done a little bit of research, right, before I started painting this. I thought it was just a cute little floral strawberry. But I learned something today. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me. See, they say you learn something new every day. And I did. I just learned something new. Without even trying. Thank you. Oh, it's white with the yellow center. Thank you, Judy. I know. I wish I wish it would, right? I'll have to Google it. That is what um what these comments are lacking, right? I've always thought about that. If you could send like pictures through it, that would be so awesome. Maybe Facebook needs to just up their game a little bit. Facebook is like this, taking notes. 
I'm sure we're not the only ones that have thought about this. The seeds are brownish with a hint of yellow. Yeah. I like them yellow though. I think they pop more on the door hangers. We're just not gonna, we're not gonna change that up. <laughs> I like them yellow. You see, now they have black. If y'all like using the Posca pins to draw, to, to paint, I feel like I like using my paintbrush a little bit better. It looks a little bit more organic. Thank you. Yes, it is. It's so cute. I love it. Get a little bit of a bigger paintbrush, maybe. Kind of reminds me of those um, strawberry candy with the strawberry looking wrappers. Now I'm starting to think of all the strawberry things.
add a few little accents and that's it. We're done. I don't want too many accents, but I do want some. I don't know where I want them though. My hands are shaky today, guys. So. I think that's about it. I'm not going to do any more because I don't want to mess it up since my hands are shaky. What do y'all think? Isn't that gorgeous? So cute. I love it. This one wasn't such a long live today, so... It's a little bit simple, but it still makes a statement. It's beautiful. And it's giving me all the strawberry vibes. Thank you, Kendria. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, pretty bright colors. Very, very springy. I love it. I love it. Hopefully, you guys can... Um, come watch next week i be i'll be live again next tuesday so uh probably around the same time maybe about three o'clock or so three three to four so hopefully you guys can make it but thank you guys for watching bye guys